There's one thing that you can do that would make people excited about your food and it has nothing to do with cooking. Just learn how to say it in French. Whatever you're gonna make, learn how to say it in French. So apple pie is tartapon and chocolate croissant is petit pain au chocolat and oven grilled fish is poisson au four. Even bonus points if you can throw in a name of a country and a name of a spice they don't know. So, poisson au four with Moroccan charmoula. And all of a sudden, you get their attention, you get their curiosity, they want to know what it is, they want to try it, and uh, let's make it for them. We will start by making the wonderful herb and spice mix that gives Moroccan fish dishes their amazing taste, called charmoula. And we will make enough for two whole fish. So, first, the zest of two lemons and then their juice, then four tablespoons of tomato paste, 10 crushed cloves of garlic, eight tablespoons of mixed parsley and cilantro, then roughly six tablespoons of olive oil. Mix well, and let's move to the spices. First, two teaspoons of sea salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, then two tablespoons of paprika, cumin, and coriander. And finally, half a teaspoon of chili powder and 100 ml or 3.4 fluid ounces of cold water. Mix well, cover, and let it rest in the fridge while we clean the fish. I'm using sea bream, but this recipe works for any type of fish. I mean, maybe not whales. First, don't kill whales. And second, do you know how much charmoula you need for a whale? I mean, we're talking fields of parsley and cilantro. Anyway, I already removed the scales and the insides of the fish. Now go around and remove all the fins, except for the tail. And please don't remove the head. It has so much flavor and it will make the sauce way more rich. Now we will score the fish by making three long cuts on each side so that the fish cooks evenly and to allow the charmoula to sip in. So generously fill up the belly of the fish with charmoula. And do the same for the slits. The fish is dead at this point, so don't be afraid of getting in there and properly stuffing it with charmoula. Cover the fish and let it sit in the fridge while we prepare the vegetables. First, coat the bottom of the pan with olive oil to prevent it from burning. But just in case that doesn't work, the first layer should always be onions. Also add in a few spoons of charmoula. Second layer is potatoes. They take time to cook, so make sure you cut them thin. And believe it or not, they will take more time to cook than the fish. Now add in a few more spoons of charmoula. fresh cracked black pepper, and next is tomatoes and bell peppers. And then the fish. And use whatever charmoule you have left. Cover with aluminum foil and cook for one hour in a preheated oven at 180 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit. Once done, remove the foil and cook for another 20 minutes at the same temperature.
but make sure to baste it at least once so that the fish doesn't get dry. Serve as is with some Moroccan bread and a side of harissa, but if you decide to plate it for each guest, serve it with a fresh squeezed lemon, a chiffonade of parsley, fresh cracked pepper, and a drizzle of olive oil. And enjoy! And that was it for me. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and all the ingredients will be right below. If you like this video, you know what to do. And uh, we'll see you next time. And bon appétit. Mm.